Hi, my name is Greg Ruiz with Pipeline and Supply Company. I'm the West Coast Sales and Technical Trainer here. What I'm gonna do is show you the proper way to install your brushes and your hoses and camera all together with your cable machine. So when you receive your new brushes, what you're gonna do is you're gonna back these set screws that are inside of these brushes, because sometimes they're too far in and you're gonna struggle putting them all over your cable. So I would recommend setting these back a little bit so you can easily put your brushes on. So I'm getting ready to determine what size of brushes I need for the size of pipe I'm gonna be coating. Our brushes come cut two inches larger than your pipe. So if you're gonna be doing a four inch pipe, you're gonna to wanna to order a six inch brush because you want these to bend back and coat your, your pipe. So just keep that in mind, the brushes come cut two inches larger than your actual pipe. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna put my brushes onto my cable. The, the smaller brush goes in the front and the larger one goes in the back. What we're doing here is we're using the smaller one in front to mix our resin inside of our pipe, our two parts, and the larger one is gonna smooth your finish out. So once I have my smaller brush attached to the closer to the cable here, I'm gonna attach my second brush approximately two inches apart so we have a little bit of space between the two. What the first one is gonna do is that's gonna actually mix, mix my two part A and B. The second one is gonna smooth that finish out so you get a little bit more smoother finish inside your pipe. Next thing I'm gonna do, once I have those both secured down onto my cable, I'm gonna add this stop ring on here. The stop ring is just a little security so you don't lose your brushes. In case one of these set screws happen to come loose, you have a little bit more protection so you bring your brushes out every time. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna attach my red and blue hoses onto my cable. So we wanna put these about approximately two inches behind the first brush here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my tape, I'm gonna attach my two hoses just like this, secure them to the front here so they don't pop off. And I'm gonna continue taping this back here. Approximately, I'm gonna do it about, about two inches of tape, just like that. So next, I'm gonna go ahead and attach my camera to my train. I'm gonna put my camera facing kind of towards the brushes here. What you want, this is about five inches apart. You wanna be able to see, once you turn on your monitor, you're gonna to wanna to see the edge of this brush here because as this, this resin starts to spread on these brushes, you wanna keep a consistent bead around these brushes as you're pulling this train back. So the better view you have of this end of this brush is gonna be more better for you. So the next I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my tape here and I'm gonna to start to wrap this camera around here just like this. Cover the end there. And I'm gonna bring that back probably about another three to four inches to tape that camera securely. So now that I got my camera attached, my red and blue hoses to my cable and I have my brushes on, next thing we're gonna to wanna to do is we're gonna to wanna to tape approximately every two feet your train together so that it keeps everything together. And what I'm talking about is we're gonna tape it around just about two or three times just like this. And we're gonna do this consistently through the whole train. If I'm doing 50 feet of, of, of coating, I'm gonna to wanna to tape this every two feet 50 feet so that we have this together so it doesn't come apart on you.